Hey everybody, Dr. Eric Herman, Guru Chiropractor. Peace and love. I'm with my patient, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hello. How you doing? Give me a pound. Lauren's back. Let's see. She's been here a few times. Three. This is going to be her fourth visit. She's had three adjustments so far, yes? Yes. Okay. So she's coming in today with some, some upper neck pain, which is radiating into the head, causing occipital headaches or back of the head headaches, and it's wrapping around, yes? Okay and tightness in the trapezius area, the lower neck and upper back, more so on the left, mm -hmm, okay. right, mm -hmm. correct? And you okay if I talk about what do you think it's related to? Sure, go ahead. And she feels like it's related to her menstrual cycle, which I've seen this happen many, many times over the years. For some reason, it's probably because there's a lot going on in the body and it really, the menstrual cycle stress out the body, right? And there's a lot of new chemical reactions happening and stress. Women have flare-ups in their back and neck during or right before their menstrual cycle. It's like, you know, PMS related. But the good news is I know how to fix it. Yes. So we're gonna roll into adjustment today. She's gonna get her first ring dinger today. So that's gonna be a cool experience. <laughs> and hopefully she'll be walking out of here doing better. Yes. Okay, so go ahead and go face down on your belly. I'm gonna put my notes down. We're gonna do a little mini checkup to see what's going on. And then we'll take it from there. So as I'm looking at your posture, hold on, I gotta straighten your shirt a little bit. Shoulders are a little bit rotated, or your, your upper trunk is a little bit torqued to the right. Yeah, I noticed. It's not horrible, but it's, it's definitely pulling this way. Um, and your hips too. Your hips are rotated to the right and it looks like you have a high left hip which I bet your left leg is short but I don't know for sure. Yup. Your left leg is about three quarters of an inch pulled up higher than the right. Mm -hmm. So even though you're not complaining of anything down here, mm -hmm. these are off too. Right. So you, based on what we just talked about off camera, yes you definitely qualify for the ring digger. Because okay. you have problems here and you have problems here. <clears throat> Bend up, let's bend up the knees. When I stretch up, do you feel any pressure in your lower back? It's supposed to stretch your quads, your thighs. Yeah, but that's where I feel it. You don't feel anything pulling in your lower when I do this? No. Okay, good. Come down. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of pressure down on your tailbone. And what I want you to do is one at a time, start with your left leg. Don't bend it. Keep it stiff. Lift it as high as you can. Straight up. Okay, notice how that feels. Now bring it down. Now try the right side. Okay, and down. I saw a little discrepancy, but what did you feel? Did one side feel any different than the other? Harder to lift, tighter? Uh, the right side feels tighter. Than yeah, it didn't go up as high. The people on the camera saw that too. Mm -hmm. So that, both sides actually didn't go up as high as it should, mm -hmm. but right side was worse. That indicates your sacroiliac joint is jammed up. Both sides are jammed, but right side is worse. Is that sore? Uh, a little bit, like a little bit tender. Yeah. How about this side? Not as much. Not as Not much, really. yeah. Makes sense. How about in the middle? No. Okay. Okay. Let me see what we got up in that neck area for you. Though. So, through here too, some abnormal tightness. It's just stress. We all get it. Is that sore? Yeah. Yeah. Lower neck is, is definitely compressed. But usually the... The headaches come from an upper cervical um, misalignment, either the number one, C1, or C2. And what I'm feeling is C1 and C2 are really jammed up, worse on the right. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. Is yeah, it sore? Of alignment, yeah. How about like when I press on the left side? No. No, right? But the right side? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is probably what's causing it. Do you feel like the headaches are more dominant on the right side? I don't know if you didn't tell me that. You um, said it was just coming up yeah, the back side, of your neck. Both down. sides on the back, yeah. But not more on this side? No. Okay. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to write notes, and then we're going we're gonna to roll right into the adjustment. Okay. All right. So we're going to stretch you out a little bit here, do a little massaging and stretching, and then we're going to go right in for the big pull. It's intense. I don't ever sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. It's not. It doesn't. It's not super painful, but it 
for some people it's a very intense thing, mm -hmm. but the results they feel make it well worth experiencing the intensity. Just keep me in the loop if anything I'm doing feels yucky, like it doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Thumper massager. One of these days soon, you're gonna give me a session. I, I can for sure. I'm ready. I told you last yeah. time too. I said <laughs> if you need somebody to practice on, I'm available. Yeah, well, I've gotten to that point now, so I'm ready for you. Don't, don't. I mean, reach out. Just reach out yeah. to Zach. Tell him, and I'll call. I'll reach out to you on my private number. Okay, definitely. We'll hook it up. Yeah. Lauren's a hypnotherapist, in case the audience is wondering what the hell we're talking about. And about to graduate, right? Get certified? Yeah, about nice. to be done. Very cool. Can, you, can hypnosis make uh, hair grow back? Yes. Oh, cool. That's my make that, that I want you to fix, <laughs> fix my bald spot. <laughs> Get out of here. No, no, I've read. Yeah. I've read. I've read stuff. I read. I've read. I'm read up a little bit on hypnosis. Mm -hmm. Some really cool stuff can happen. Yeah. Essentially, there's some sort of blockage that's uh, preventing the hair from growing. You know. If I mean, it's not the only cause, but if no, it, if it has to do with a mental thing. Yeah, but if it be, yeah, if it's anything emotional, then yeah, it can come up and out. Cool. Yeah, I definitely feel it on the. On the right side. Well, my my tests show it too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's another move that I want to do on you today for up here because you qualify for it. Mm -hmm. It's called the occipital lift. I'm going to do an occipital lift for the okay. for the for all my fans out there and for you. <laughs> <laughs> you you're number one, but then okay. the fans are <laughs> number two. It's hilarious. Okay, so. We're done with the little warm up. Come on up on your feet when you're ready, and we're going into the room right behind us. That's where the big ring dinger happens. Come through, don't trip on that little lip. Give me a second, I gotta put uh, paper for your head. <clears throat> the occipital lift is something that you did before? On you? Yeah. I don't remember, I don't think so. No? What, it, let me explain it and then you'll remember if mm -hmm. I did it. Okay. I basically have to stand on top of the yeah. table above I you. I think you did it last I time. I did it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If, yeah I didn't look good. at all my notes yeah. on you. Yeah. So that's the best thing in, when you have an occipital okay. and a, a upper cervical mm -hmm. blockage, that's the best thing to release it. Wow. So, all right. Lay on your back, head here, face up. And then we got to move you around to get you lined up a little bit better. Good. Put your hands up top. Okay. Now I got to feel the top of your hips. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You lined yourself up great. You've been practicing? <laughs> of course. <laughs> nice. Now the table's going to raise up your legs. Okay. Just let the table do it. Try not to move. Because okay. it's got a little sensitive switch, and if you wiggle, it goes back down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bend. Bend. Mm -hmm. Come down a little bit. You're a shorty. <laughs> Me too. I could say that to you without offending you because I'm a shorty too. No, no, you can, you're not supposed to do that. Okay, so like this. Yeah, your hips have to okay, be. Got it. Am I good now? Yeah. Okay. But I have to lower this a little bit. All right. Now, I got to pin you in pretty tight right above your hips here. Okay. So it's going to be a little snug and might be a little uncomfortable. Okay. Try your best to deal with it because that's that's essential to give the really good release. Mm -hmm. Okay. But. If it's really too tight, let me know. Okay. And if you're nice to me, I'll loosen it up for you. <laughs> too tight or good? No, it's good. All right, cool. Perfect. Snug. Perfect. Snug, but doesn't hurt. Good. Now, let me have your hands back behind. This is not the treatment. I'm just seeing if there's any more slack. Oh, you're pinned. Good. Relax them back down. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. I've got to prep the towel. Leave them across like this? If you're comfortable there, yeah. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay. You got a little uh, terrarium growing over there or something? I tell you. You want to know the story about that terrarium? Yes. It's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> My father makes terrariums. Wow. And I saw that glass container on the curb. Somebody was throwing it away. Because I think they were using it for, you know, that's beautiful. For, for liquid and the stick it yeah, broke. Like for like lemonade. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's got great character. That would be a great turn. So I grabbed it. Wow. And I took it home and my father made me my, uh, my terrarium wow. for my office. So it's very, very special. Nice. Very special. Now, the towel's got to go around your neck, but really it's to grab your skull. So if it's too tight on your I bring these down a little bit. If it's mm -hmm. too tight and choking you, let me know. Mm -hmm. It should not be. You good with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Your job, keep your teeth together. Don't bite super hard, but just keep them secure because mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little pull. I don't want you to bang your teeth. Mm -hmm. And then everything else below, try your best to stay relaxed, but I'll help with that too. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me five seconds and I'll be ready. Okay. How do you have to prepare? Me? I'm just centering myself, doing a little visualization and a little prayer. Good question. Nobody ever asked me. You know, the first person ever asked me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, nice and relaxed. Chin down. Stay loose. Wiggle your left foot. And boom. <laughs> and that was it. Oh, that feels really cool. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm now, okay. did you feel it all the way down? Like, yeah, release, like pop, 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 yeah. pop, like an accordion, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's how it feels. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. That's very interesting. She did good. And that releases oh, so much. A lot of people, I'm not going to say everybody, mm -hmm. after they stand up, they, they feel completely altered. Like it changes their whole biomechanical mm -hmm. structure. Okay. So, that was it. Was it, it painful? Like it, no. No. It feels very different though. It feels like there's space there already. When you get on your feet, you'll see that it's right. even going to be okay. more intense, more distinct. It's a very interesting like sensation. Like, I've never felt like anything like that. Before. Exactly. Yeah. And it does something to the spine that nothing else that I've ever come across mm -hmm. on the planet does. Mm -hmm. Full Y-axis release mm -hmm. in one pull. Wow. It's amazing. Now, I want to do a little more on your neck before you get up. Okay. Are you ready or you need to chill for a second? I'm good. All right, stay relaxed. Good. Let it go. Nice. That went nice and easy. Good. Okay, we're done here. So when you're ready, you can come up. If you need my help up here. Come on up. Now, when you get on your feet, stop. Check in with your body and just say what, if anything feels different, tell us. Okay. If you feel different. I would say I feel taller. I feel taller already. <laughs> Just that's yeah. worth it, right? Yeah. Look at me. I've had about a hundred of them. Look how tall I'm about. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else feels it feels better? good. I feel very, feel very centered. Feel very yeah. aligned. Your posture yeah, is, really is better. That's You're what I feel. More stacked on, yeah. on, on. Yeah. I almost had that. The first thing that came to my mind was like I feel like like a dancer, like a ballerina, like, like I'm standing yes. up straight the way I'm supposed and to be. Mm -hmm. With no effort. No. Yeah. Effortlessly. Because it, it pulls really out good. everything that's pulling yeah. you out yeah. of. Yeah. Normal alignment. Mm -hmm. Good Very job. Nice. Thank you. That it was, was awesome. my honor and my pleasure. Thank you so but when, much. we're going to do more, so go back on that okay. table face down. Okay, face down. Yep. That's it. Okay, so let's see. First off, guess what? Even Steven down here. Mm -hmm. So that pulled out all the Torquing, not there's a list of a little torquing, but it pulled out all the unleveling mm -hmm. in your hips. Okay. When you bent it, you said there was no. Okay. Sorry. Trying to check. Okay. Now we're going to do some push down through the lumbars and the sacroiliacs. Mm -hmm. So the belly part comes down. This you've had before. All this is yeah. like my standard full body. Mm -hmm. This pops up, and when I push on you, boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stay relaxed. Let it go. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Relaxed. Nice. Mm -hmm. And boom. Moving a lot. 
I feel like it's moving better here. Mm -hmm. Let's recheck. Now I'm pushing down on your tailbone again. Lift this one as high as you can. Nice. Down. Try this one. Okay. Down. Do you feel like it went up easier? It looked um, like it. Yeah. It felt yeah. a lot easier on both sides. It, it yeah. looked, and it visually looked like it went up higher. So that's mm -hmm. good. That means we release the sacroiliacs mm -hmm. and the compression, really the whole spine, but here. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to work our way up and do more push down through the middle back and the upper back. Okay. Stay relaxed. Stay loose. Oh, that was crunchy. <laughs> Relax. Let it go. Good. Remember, was this is this as sore as it was? Mm, no, yeah, it's better. Still gotta do a little more releasing, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Look straight up to the sky. Tilt this way. Yep, a little bit. Now I'm coming around the other side. <clears throat> if I were going to bet money, this side would, would be louder because it's got a lot more stuff going mm -hmm. on here. But I don't know. Let's see. Look up at the sky. Tilt. Yeah, a little bit more. Ah. Now. It already feels better. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to sit you up and, s and feel it before I make a decision mm -hmm. about the occipital lift. But it does feel better already. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll over on your back with a few more things. <clears throat> In your hands. I like that shirt. I just read this. Go. Says, Go ahead. Love, Love your it. life. Yeah. Love it. Carpe diem. <laughs> Boom. You okay? Mm -hmm. Did you feel more release? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay, come down a little more. Now we're going to do a little toesies and ankles. You good with that? Yes. Oh! Got a little toes. <laughs> Got cute little toes. Ooh. Good. Now just drop it in my hands. I'm gonna do a little pull. Ooh, big one. Drop it and flop it. Loose this. Loosey, loosey. There it goes. Okay. Sit up. When you're ready. Face it that way. You know what? It feels good. Like, it, like sometimes the, the pull releases it. Yeah. Not every time. Yeah. It feels even right now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I think we're good here. Mm -hmm. And that's good. This is released, mm -hmm. which I can't say 100% yeah. for sure. Yes. But over the years, mm -hmm. this is the headache button right here. Mm -hmm. So when this has problems, headaches, when this gets better, headaches mm -hmm. go away. Right. <clears throat> okay. I want to finish off, we'll do shoulder release, elbow release, wrist. Okay. You know how to do it? Bend uh, this like this. Like this? Yep. I gotta give you a hug. Remember that one? Mm -hmm. Stay relaxed. There it go. Good. Give me this side. Goose says goose. Good. Come on. Just a little bit in the elbow. Okay. A little floppy here. Good. Mm -hmm. Some floppy. Pull towards you. Good. You pop your knuckles. Because they don't pop for me. <laughs> yeah. Stop doing my job. <laughs> you did the toes, so. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Good. Nice. Okay. Feels good. Very nice. You happy? You. Yeah. You can't leave unless you're happy. So. I'm happy. Yeah. Good job. Wanna Very see? good adjusted today. That went mm -hmm. really well. What was your impression of the ring dinger? I just want to know because it was your first time. Uh, it's just the, the sensation of it. It was like, just, yeah, like like that kind of accordion thing. It just went all, all the way from way here, down. all the way yeah. down. Pop, 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 yeah, right? that's just like a feeling that you never had before. Like, yeah. 
Yes. Very unique feeling. Yes. And listen, I've been in the biz for 30 years, mm -hmm. and so I know what's out there, you know, mm -hmm. all the other techniques and stuff. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So, good job. It's going to help you a lot in your back. I'm happy that, that you are willing to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you need anything again, yes. you know where to go. Yes. Yeah. All right, great. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. You're welcome. Thank this you. is Guru Chiropractor and Lauren signing off. Peace and love. If you need a little bit of this, if it, when, you were, when you're watching the video, you were like, you know what? I think I need that. Like, that looks like something I need. Reach out. The best way to do that is go to my website, retrochiropractic.com. Everything's on there. You can find, there's a book now link. You can put your info in, and it'll go to my assistant, and he'll call, he'll, he won't call you. We text. He'll text you back, and you guys can work it out. My hours are there. My fees are there. Everything's on my website. Would love to help you out. This is what I do. This is my life. This is what I've been called to do, I think, by whoever's up there. So come on through, and I'll do my very best for you. Love and peace, and I'm out. Bye.